Are we on? Okay. <laughs> Welcome to free school. Happy Wednesday. Today is rain day. We're learning about rain today. So I hope everybody has an opportunity to jump on today because we're doing two different science experiments. Okay? Holly, have a seat on your box, please. Okay. All right, let's wash our hands before we start class today. And sing with me. This is the way we wash our hands, wash our hands, wash our hands. This is the way we wash our hands when it's time to start. This is the way we shake our hands, shake our hands, shake our hands. This is the way we shake our hands when it's time to start. This is the way we clap our hands, clap our hands, clap our hands. This is the way we clap our hands when it's time to start. This is the way we pat our hands, pat our hands, pat our hands. This is the way we pat our hands when it's time to start. <gasps> Do my hands look clean? Yes. No. Do they smell clean? Yes. Mine don't. Yes, they must be clean. All right, let's have Kaylee come on up. Kaylee's, Kaylee's going to be my helper first. Say, please stand. Please stand. Wherever you are, please stand up. And begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, Dax, what are you being silly back there? Okay. All right, where is my green finger? Oh, right here. Okay, Daxton's going to lead us in the days of the week. All right, Dax, here we go. There are seven days in a week. Won't you name them all with me? Sunday. Okay, what do you see in that picture? It's raining. Dots and it's raining. <gasps> it's rainy. April is a very yeah. rainy month. So we're going to start to see rain. Lots of rain. I hope you have your umbrellas ready. Okay, Daxton, we are not going to count today. Look, friends. Today is the first day of April. So we don't need to count because one is all by itself. Okay? Tomorrow we will find out what number comes next. Okay? Today is Wednesday, April 1st. Yep, the first day of April. Okay, Holly, would you like to lead us in our alphabet? Yes. Okay. All right. Friends at home, please follow the green finger and say your ABCs with me. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, 
to ask friends at home to name the shape for me. Okay, here we go. Let's go to someone we haven't called on before. And I'm going to say, Jamie, what shape is the green shape, Jamie? Three sides and three angles is a <coughs> triangle. Thank you, Jamie. Okay, here we go. Let's have Matele. Matele, what shape is the orange shape? The orange shape is a circle. Thank you, Matele. Okay, let's go to Cheval. Cheval, what shape is the purple shape? Four sides the same is a square. Thank you, Cheval. All right, let's go to Emerson. Emerson, what? shape is the red shape. Can you tell me the name of the red shape? A diamond. Thank you, Emerson. A diamond. Okay, we're moving right along. Let's go to Charlie. Charlie, what shape is this blue shape with two long sides, two short sides, two long sides, two short sides is a rectangle. Okay, I want to go to Hazen. Hazen, are you ready? Okay, this blue shape, Hazen, is a trapezoid. Trapezoid. Very good, Hazen. Okay. Here we go. I want to go to Bentley. Bentley, can you tell me what this green shape is? Bentley, what shape is the green shape with six sides? It's a hexagon. Right. Okay, thank you, Bentley. Okay, have you guys looked out your window today? Holly, you need to sit on your butt. Mom? Yes, cameraman David? Charlie says rectangle and then he screamed it. <gasps> Good, Charlie, thank you for paying attention. Okay, all right, we're gonna do the weather today. Friends at home, look out your window. I'm wondering if the weather is the same at your house as it is here at school. Because do you know what? It doesn't look very springy outside today. It looks a lot like the winter. Okay, Holly, come on up here. Holly, come on up here. Okay, Holly's going to do our weather for us. Holly, look out the window and what do you see? It's snowing! Is it snowing at your house? I hope that wherever you are, it's sun shining. Because here, it's snowy. Holly, what else could we say the weather is like? Cloudy. Oh, cloudy. Yep, I do not see Mr. Sunshine. How, what else could we say? And windy. The trees here at school are blowing in the wind. Yep, they are. Okay, tell me what the weather is like at your house. I want to know what the weather is like at your house. Here it's snowy. It's very, very snowy. Okay, let's talk about rain. Okay, what is rain? Rain and Oliver. Uh, Rain and Oliver. <laughs> we have, yeah, we have a friend named Rain, don't we? Rain, maybe you can help us out. What is rain? Rain um, drops from the sky. Okay, rain drops from the sky, right? Okay, Haley says rain drops from the clouds. Very good, Haley. Rain, rain is very Rain is very small. Good. Okay. Rain is water. <gasps> Rain is water. Yes, Haley. Yes. Okay. Let me tell you first where rain comes from. Okay. So 
get my sticky putty here. All right. So up in the sky, we have clouds, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Up in the sky, we have clouds. Okay, Daxton, please be quiet, honey. Okay. All right, here we go. On the ground, on, okay, we can do your papers later, sweetie. Yes, David. Um, rain says drops of water. Yes, rain is drops of water. Okay, cameraman David, can you zoom in on my picture here? Mm -hmm. Okay, here I have a picture a of a pond. Okay, we have some trees and we have some water. Yes, cameraman David. Alec and Chevelle say rain can be cold and can have thunder and lightning. <gasps> yes, thank you, Alec and Chevelle. You are right. Thunder and lightning sometimes comes with rain, right? Very good. And it is cold. It's like cold water. We'll learn why in just a minute. Daxton, please stop coloring. We're not coloring that one today. Okay, here we go. So on the ground, we have water. Okay, where can we find water on the ground? Okay, where can we find water on the ground? On the road. On the road? Puddles? Okay, puddles of water on the road? Sure. A pond? Yep, we have a pond right here. A lake. Yeah, a big lake where we can go swimming. Okay, the ocean is the biggest body of water. Okay, the ocean. Where else can we find water? Uh, from the... Uh, Did you already from say... the sky. Okay, no. On the ground. Where can we find water on the ground? How do you keep your grass no, no, green? Okay. No, with How water. do you keep your grass green? Yes, Chairman David? Charlie said, Mrs. Hansen, rain is wet. <gasps> rain is wet. Yes, if I stand in the rain, I'm going to get wet, right? Yeah. Okay, just wet. like when I take a shower, I get wet because water makes me wet. Yes, cameraman David. Um, one of Haley Ruff's kids said, creek bottom. <gasps> Okay, there is water in the creek, right? There could be little bodies of water on your property, around your property, that can be called creeks, right? We can find water in the lake, in the river, in the pond. Yes, David? Jack says underground. Ava says rain makes flowers. And Chevelle says in the puddles. Yeah, okay. All right, let's. Who said underground? Charlie? Yes. Charlie. No, Jack. Jack, there is water all over the ground. That is what I was trying to get out of you guys. Okay? There is water all over the ground. Okay? There is water in the grass. Because you water the grass so that it will grow, right? There's water in the ground. Okay? There's water in the ground. It does not just have to be in a lake, a river, or a pond. There is water in the grass. There is water in the dirt. There can be water in the soil. Good job. Thank you. Ava, you are right. The water in the dirt feeds the flowers, right? We have to have the water for our flowers. That is going to be one of our activities today. I'll talk about it in a little bit. Okay, so we have water, okay? We have water all over the ground. And way up here in the sky, we have the sun, okay? The sun is hot, right friends? The sun is hot. When the sun is shining, it can bring the water up to the sky in a process called evaporation. Everybody say that 
Evaporation is when little droplets of water are carried from the ground up into the sky. Okay? Evaporation goes up. Okay? All right. Guess what? Like the wind, we cannot see evaporation. Okay? I cannot see when these little water droplets are evaporating into the sky. I cannot see evaporation. Yes, David. Sawyer says rainbows. <gasps> Rain helps make rainbows with the sun. Yep, you have to have the sun and droplets of rain to make a rainbow. Thank you, Sawyer. Okay, did everybody hear this word? Evaporation? Okay, remember, we cannot see evaporation. Okay, that is when the water is carried from the ground up into the sky because the sun is hot. Okay? It's okay. It's okay, Holly. We'll do our science in just a minute. Okay? All right. When the water droplets, the little tiny water droplets, get up to the sky, where do they go? Up in the clouds. <gasps> to the clouds, right? They form clouds. All these water droplets form clouds in a process called condensation. Condensation, okay? You're not going to remember all of these words, and that doesn't matter. Okay, don't worry, friends, about memorizing the words. Um, Jackson, don't touch our science experiment yet. Okay, all right. So up in the clouds, Clouds are formed with lots and lots of little droplets of water, okay? Now, when it gets too heavy, when those droplets of water get too heavy, they what do you think happens? They go down. They have to come down. It's too heavy for the cloud, right? So all those droplets of water come down, okay, come down from the clouds back to the ground in a process called precipitation. Oh my goodness, that is a really big word. Friends, can you try to say this word with me? Precipitation. Okay, let's say it again. Precipitation. What is precipitation? Okay, precipitation can be rain. It can be snow. It can be hail. Or it can be sleet. Sleet is like a frozen rain. Okay, little balls of ice. All right? It's called hail. So, Yep, hail is big, can be bigger. Yep, like hail is bigger. Afternoon. Last no. summer, we had big hail, right, Darcy? Like a, like a, Darcy had big hail at her house. Tell me, did you have big hail at your house? Like a big golf. I saw some that were the size of a golf ball. Yep, so that was frozen water that came down as precipitation, right? Precipitation. Those are all very big words. When we have precipitation, we have rain. Okay, that reminds me of a song. Oh, do you know a song I'm thinking about? It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. He went to bed and he bumped his head and he couldn't get up in the morning. Okay. Yeah, rain. 
water so we can drink. Should I drink the rain water straight out of the sky? No. No. Do you know that when the water goes up to the sky and then comes back down, it can carry with it dirt and dust and sometimes bugs? Okay? There could be bugs in the rain. Should we drink the rainwater? No. No, it's not mm -hmm. clean yet, right? But we need water so that we can have a drink, right? So we need to clean the water. Yes, David? So grass can drink, said <gasps> Alice. Yes, Alice, you're right. So all these trees and grasses can drink, right? The rain feeds the plants on the ground. Very good. And like Ava said, the flowers, right? So in April, as it starts to rain, we're going to start to see flowers grow and we're going to start to see the grass turn green. Okay? All right. Okay. Do we know where rain comes from? Yeah. Rain comes from the ground, goes up to the clouds, and back down when it gets too heavy in the form of precipitation. Okay, we're gonna sing, um, we're going to sing our song again. It's raining, it's pouring, but we're going to use your name, okay? Let's say Ava. Ava, you bumped your head and you couldn't get up in the morning. Are you ready? Sing it with me. It's raining, it's pouring, Ava is snoring. She bumped her head and went to bed, and she couldn't get up in the morning. Ha ha, Ava. Okay, let's do Jack. Jack, you're snoring. Here we go. It's raining, it's pouring. The, oh, Jack. He bumped his head and he went to bed and he couldn't get up in the morning. Was it hard for you to wake up this morning, Jack? Okay, let's do one more. Let's do Sawyer. Sawyer bumped his head. Here we go. It's raining, it's pouring. Sawyer is snoring. He bumped his head and he went to bed and he couldn't get up in the morning. Okay, all right, let's do a science experiment. Are you ready? Okay, do it. Here we go. I'm going to pull over my science table. Jackson, have a seat. All right, friends at home, I have a science experiment. Okay, Haley, we're going to need our hot water. Okay. Okay, so here I have a jar.
you can't see evaporation, remember, but when it gets up to the clouds and it hits the cool weather and they become too heavy, they start to fall down in precipitation. Is it raining in there? Yeah. <gasps> I guess so. Can you see it raining? Mm -hmm. David? If I put a paper towel behind, can you see better? Or is that worse? It was better before. <gasps> oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so we don't need that. Okay, all right. Can you see <gasps> the water is falling down the jar? Zoom in, David. We just made it rain in our jar. Okay. So where do we get the heat from? The, the sun, sun, right? The sun heats up the water particles and they come up through the process. Holly, down please. My friends at home need to be able to see. Scoot over. Okay. All right. And then when the clouds get too heavy and those little particles of water, they fall down in the form of precipitation, right? Let's do another science experiment right here, okay? This one we're gonna need our friends in the classroom to help us out, okay? I have put water in here, which is just going to be like the sky, okay? You can do this at home, okay? You can do this at home because I sent you home some shaving cream. Okay, so put a little bit of water in your cup, okay? Try using a cup you can see through. That's then awesome. we're going to make a cloud. Did all of you, uh-oh, come on. Did all of you make clouds yesterday? Yesterday you were riding in the clouds, right? Okay, whoa, that's a big cloud. <laughs> Anson might have put too much. We'll try it, okay? Science is when we try things and so oh, I stopped. David, what are you zoomed in on? Uh, the other cup. Oh, it's raining in my jar over here, friends. Okay, so here we have a cloud, right? I'm going to put water droplets on top of the cloud like this. So we're going to see when our cloud gets too heavy that it has to rain down inside. <gasps> okay, so remember the water droplets come up. Okay, the water droplets come up to the cloud and make a cloud. Is it raining down? There it goes. And when the water droplets get too heavy for the cloud, the cloud has to release them down, down, down into the sky. Can you see it raining in there, friends? No. Are you zoomed in, David? David, are you zoomed in? Yeah. Okay. It's a little jiggly because Daxton keeps Oh, the table. okay. We'll take it off the table then. Take it off the table. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's put a few more water droplets. <gasps> Look, friends, I created a storm. It's raining, it's pouring. Let's sing it together. Who's snoring? Oh, wait, you're snoring. Here we go. It's raining, it's pouring. Oh, please, it's snoring. She bumped her head and she went to bed and she couldn't get up in the morning. Okay, look. Look, David, zoom in here. Can you see? Can you see right here? We have a big storm. Okay, David, I'm going to scoot over this one closer. Okay, and you tell me what you see inside of my jar. Rain. Is it raining? Yeah. All this water on the jar is condensation. Remember, condensation is the form of the water droplets up in the clouds. Oh, 
Did you see it rain? Yeah. Okay, it's raining, it's pouring. Who's snoring? Captain, you're snoring. Here we go. It's raining, it's pouring. Captain is snoring. He bumped his head and he went to bed. And he couldn't get up in the morning. Okay. Okay, and when it rains, can you tell me a bug that comes out? Oh, I called it a bug. We talked about it on, on a wasp. Thursday. It's not a bug, it's a little slimy animal. What comes out when it rains? Worm. Worm. Worms, right? Rain is worm weather. Why is rain worm weather? said um your mommy won't agree yeah um Haley Ruff said no she probably won't <coughs> no go outside take it outside if you want your rain storm to stop turn it upside down if you want it to go turn it that way okay make it rain okay all right that's one of our activities today the other activity is kind of hard Okay, I've given you, I've given you a sheet of raindrops, okay? Your raindrops have letters on them. Those letters will spell your name, okay? Cut out the letters 
that cut out the raindrops that have the letters to your name. Okay? Ooh. Daxton, it's okay. You're fine. Okay? Your cloud also has your name. Okay? Cut out your cloud and glue it into your sky. Okay? Cut out your cloud and glue it into your sky. Then, with your raindrops, spell, Daxton, spell your name with the raindrops falling from the cloud. Remember? Raindrops fall in precipitation. Right? Precipitation. Okay, spell your name with the raindrops. Don't, Don't forget to do your weather chart from yesterday. What is the weather like today? Snowy windy. Yes. Okay, the last activity is this one. Okay, this is a rain boot. What color are your rain boots? Do they have designs on them? If not, that's okay. Use your watercolors that I sent home last week and decorate your rain boot. This is a rain boot made out of watercolors. Okay? Watercolor rain boots. All right. Then your worksheet for today is this one. Daxton, please be quiet. My friends can't hear when you're talking. Okay? This cloud has eight raindrops falling. Okay? You're going to draw eight raindrops. Okay? This cloud has five raindrops. Draw five raindrops for me. Okay? This cloud has six raindrops. Draw six raindrops for me. Okay? Alright, and then on the other side, on the rainbow page, the lucky rainbow page, you're going to color the biggest shamrock on each line. Look at all three shamrocks. Which one is the biggest shamrock? Color only the biggest one on each line. Okay? All right, Daxton, friends, also this week, I sent home a sheet that looks like this. Yours probably has your name on it. Practice your name this week. If you already know how to write your first name, practice your last name. I put both your first and your last name on it. Okay? You should have a marker in your packet too. Practice, practice, practice. That's all for your activities today, okay? And like I said, you can do this experiment with your shaving cream if you have food coloring at home. Okay? All right. So to end our class today, thank you everyone for joining me. I'm so glad you did. This is one of my favorite classes. And I'm so sorry we couldn't be together today. It's one of my favorite science experiments to do with you. Make it rain. Okay? So... You do it. You do it at home. Make it rain and send me a picture so I can see what your rain is watering. Is it watering the grass? Maybe it's giving water to your animals. Okay? Make it rain. All right. Before we close today, I'm going to send you with a story. Okay? Here we go. Holly, have a seat, please. Okay. This story is called Worm Weather. Remember, the worms like the rain. This story is by Jean Taft, illustrated by Matt Hunt. The illustrator draws the pictures, the author writes the words. I'm going to open the front cover, and right inside the front cover is what? What is it called? The title page. The title page, right? The title page tells me the name of the book and who wrote it and who illustrated it. Okay? All right, here we go. I'm going to... Okay, Daxton, it's time to read the story, okay? This isn't a very long story. Worm Weather. Drip, 